Hello, students. Today, we're going to learn a fun and useful skill, how to draw a bar graph. Bar graphs help us visualize and understand data. So, let's dive right in. Imagine you have a set of data. There are four jars. Jar A has two cookies. Jar B has six cookies. Jar C has seven cookies. Jar D has four cookies. Let's use this data to create a bar graph. Firstly, we need to understand the two important parts of a bar graph, the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. This vertical line here is called the vertical axis. It's like the up and down line on a graph. We use it to show the numbers we're measuring. Today, we're going to measure the number of cookies. And this line going across is the horizontal axis. It's like the line that goes left to right. On this axis, we put the names of the things we're comparing. In our case, it's the names of the cookie jars. Let us now create our bar graph together. I'll start with jar A. Jar A has two cookies. So, I'll draw a bar above jar A, and it will reach up to the number 2 on the vertical axis. There you have it. We just represented the number of cookies in jar A. Now, let's do the same for jar B, C, and D. Look at our completed bar graph. The height of each bar shows us how many cookies each jar has. For example, this tall bar represents jar C, which has 7 cookies. Now, it's your turn. I want you to try plotting a bar graph to show me the different ways your friends come to school. Thank you for watching this video. To get a bar graph template and accompanying worksheets on this topic, please visit my store in the link below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.